All right, nine point circle. So what I have here is a circle with spokes. I have nine spokes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kind of going around in a circle. And let's say I kept counting. So I start at one, and I go two, three, four, and I go around, and I get to nine, and I kept counting. So 10, 11. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's just say I kept going around and around and around till every single number you could think of is eventually going to land on one of these spokes. Okay, so every positive number, every positive whole number is going to land somewhere on one of these spokes. Okay, so like the number 5,122, the number 211, the number 389. But these numbers are going to eventually land somewhere on one of these spokes because I'm simply going around and around and around and adding one each time. So eventually, if I keep going around, I'm going to eventually get to 389 and it's going to be on one of these spokes okay and where that number lands is what's going to be called the digit sum or the digital root okay now we find the digit sum or the digital root is you simply add the numbers together so for example let's say we look over here at this number 21 okay the number 21 if I take this number 21 and I add 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 takes me back to 3. So you can see it takes me right back to the root, the digital root. Okay, same thing with here. This number, let's say this number here, 24. Okay, this number down here, 24. If I add 2 plus 4, okay, that takes me to 6. You can see that when I add them, it takes me right back to the root. Okay, this is why we call it the digital sum, digit sum. It means adding. Sum means addition. So if I want to find what spoke this number 211 lands on, what spoke of the wheel is this number 211 going to land on, all I do is simply add the numbers together. Okay, so 2 plus 1 plus 1. 2 plus 1 plus 1 gives me 4. So I know the number 211 is going to land on spoke number 4. It's going to land on this spoke here. So I could go ahead and write that in, 211. If I want to know where the number 5,122 lands, I'm going to simply add 5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2. Okay, that's 5 plus 1, that's 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So that gives me 10. Well, 10, when I add 1 plus 0, that takes me back to 1. Okay, so I can see that's going to take me back here to number 1. So th this number 5,122 is going to be on this spoke here, in between here. It's going to be on spoke with the number digit sum, uh, digital root of the number 1. Okay, that's the digital root. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this stuff, and we're going to show you with this number 389 before we continue. So I'm going to go ahead and erase some of the stuff. If you want, put this video on pause, rewind, and copy all this down. The reason why we're doing this is the digital root. You're going to see later on, this is a good way to check your answers for mistakes. So we're going to be doing addition and subtraction. This is a method to check your addition and subtraction for uh, mistakes. You're going to see later on how we use this. It's a very, very cool concept. I'm really surprised they don't teach this in school, um, but you're, you're going to see how this is going to work out for you. Okay, so if I have the number 389 and I want to find out which spoke it lands on, I'm going to add those together. Okay, so 3 plus 8 plus 9. Okay, 3 and 8, that give me 11. 11 plus 9 give me 20. Okay, now remember you want to keep going, so then you had 2 plus 0. Okay, that takes me back to 2. So you can see the number 389 lands on this spoke number 2. 
Okay. Spoke number two. And let's say, let's just give you a, give you a problem here. If I have the number 293, and I ask you, which spoke does that land on? Okay, right off the bat, I can see that that's going to land on spoke number five. Okay, simply cross out the nine and add two plus three. Two and three gives me five. So 293 is going to land on spoke number five. Okay, once again, if I have seven, seven plus nine, that gives me 16. One plus six takes me back to seven. Okay, so if I have the number 79, you could see 79 is going to land me on spoke number seven. If I have the number 39, 39 is going to land me on spoke number three. Why? Because three plus nine equals 12. Taking the digital root of 12, 1 plus 2 takes me back to 3. Okay, so anytime you see a number 9, anytime you see this number 9, you can kind of ignore it like we did up here. We crossed it out. We ignore it. And then just do a digit sum with whatever's left over. Okay, so if I have 872 8, and I want to know which spoke that lands on, well, you could see I could cross out 7 and 2. 7 and 2 add up to 9. So I already automatically know 872 lands on spoke number 8. Watch, I'll show you that. 8 plus 7 plus 2. That's 8 plus 9. 8 plus 9 give me 17. 1 plus 7 equals 8. So you see it doesn't even have to be the number 9. It can be things that add up to 9. So if I have, let me erase a little bit of this stuff. If I have a number that has things that add up to 9, I could start canceling those out. Okay? So if I have a number, let's say, 5, 4, 3, 1. Okay, I could automatically see in my mind that that's going to land me on spoke number 4. Why? Because 5 and 4 add up to 9. What's left? 3 plus 1 equals 4. So I'm going to say that 5,431 is on spoke number 4. Okay, I'll show you that. We had 5,431. Okay, 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1. So we have 9 plus 3 plus 1. That's 10 plus 3. That's 13. Now, taking the digital root of 13, 1 plus 3, that equals 4. So you can see that all you have to do, all you have to do to find a digital root is start casting out numbers that add up to 9, or the number 9 itself. So here we had 5 and 4. 5 and 4 add up to 9. Same thing with 7 and 2, 3 and 6, 1 and 8. So if I have the number 1, 8, 2... I could automatically tell that's going to land me on spoke number two. Okay, 182. Doot, 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 that's going to land me right here on spoke number two. Why? Because 1 plus 8 plus 2. Okay, that's 9 plus 2. That's 11. Taking the digital root of 11, 1 plus 1 takes me back to the number 2. Or if I had 182, all I have to do is cross those out. 1 and 8 add up to 9. Okay, this is the idea of your nine-point circle. So you could figure out any any number where it's going to land on this spoke, which wheel it's going to land on, simply by taking the number nines out of it. So let me give you an example here, a problem for you to work on. Okay, if I have three, seven, two, one, one. <laughs> three seven two one one which spoke is that going to land on okay take a minute to figure this out if you want to press pause go ahead and pause the video just where is this number going to land on which spoke okay i could tell you right off the bat by looking at it that this is going to land me on spoke number five okay the, the, the digital root the digital root or the digit sum or the digital root 
of this number is going to be 5. And how I know that is I'm simply going to cross out numbers that add up to 9. And then add up whatever's left. So 3 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to say the number 37211 is here on spoke number 5. Okay, I think this is a pretty co easy concept for you to get. That's why I included it in the basics. Um, we're going to be using this when we're doing casting out nines. This idea of the nine-point circle, digital root, digit sum, casting out nines. So you're casting out things that add up to nine. Okay, for example, one, eight, three, two. Okay, those add up to nine. If I had, you know, five, four, four, one, 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 that these add up to nine, I could cross those out. You know, if I have four, two, two, one, three, I could see four plus two plus two plus one equal nine. So I know this number four, two, two, one, three is going to be over here. Four, two, two, one, three. Okay, so that, that's the idea of casting out nines. Uh, you want to learn this so when we go back to do our arithmetic, when we're doing our addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, that when you're casting out nines, it's going to teach you how to check your answers for mistakes. They don't teach this in school. Okay, I'm going to show you the methods they don't teach you in school to speed up your arithmetic. You're going to be doing your addition, your subtraction faster. Okay, you're going to be able to check for mistakes without having to go through the problem again. So learn this method, this idea of this, this concept of digital sum or digital root and the nine-point circle. And when you're doing your addition, your subtraction, your multiplication, if you think that you made the mistake or got the answer wrong, you're not going to have to go through and do the problem um, uh, the same way to check if you got it wrong or right. Okay, you're not, you're going to have like a method to check without having to do the problem again. Okay, you're still going to have to do the problem over again to get it right, but you're going to be able to check your problem to see if you made a mistake. So learn this idea, learn this, this concept, the nine-point circle. We're going to be coming back to it in the digital root, digit sum, uh, doing digit sum checks and casting out nines when we're doing our uh, checking for mistakes.